What's up dreamers, it's your girl Lil Dream and I'm back to bring you guys this iOS 14 update review. Okay, so starting all the way to the left, you will see that our widget options have changed and they look much more prettier. So iOS 14 now supports your widgets being on your normal pages and I'm going to show you how to do that. But before I get there, I want to explain something. Right now you see I have two pages full of widgets. Say I didn't want this anymore, right? I will hold down the screen, press that area right there, and I'm gonna turn off these extra pages and I'm gonna just put a plain page. So now I have my widget area, my plain page, and I have my app library. Now the app library is much more clean. It's easy to see where your apps are and you can now search for apps. So if I wanted to find your pet's bestie app, I would click right there and boom. Make sure y'all download my app by the way. <laughs> okay, so let's get to these widgets. If I hold down the screen again, I can press this plus sign up here. And this is the list of widgets that we have. So this is showing the different sizes you can do so for your photos you can have a small square you can have a rectangle or you can have a big giant square right let's say i wanted this big giant square i'll press that and then i also want it a smart stack so if i click on smart stack i can go ahead and choose which one i want let's go with this middle one right or the second one i'm going to press add widget and now what that does is it puts everything right there in this small little space. How cool is that? And to do the weather, there it goes. You just set your location up, right? If you don't want your apps to download to your home screen anymore, you go to settings, click on home screen, and it will ask you if you want to add it to your home screen or add to your library. And so I'm going to click on add to my library. Right, so now I'm going to get into the picture in picture portion of this video. So Joe, go ahead and FaceTime me, please. So as you can see, the phone call no longer takes up your whole screen. You can, <laughs> you can answer. But I no longer have to sit and look at Joe the whole time. I can now go on and watch videos on YouTube. I can also move this around and I can make it smaller. I can make it a little bigger, you know, it can be wherever I want and do whatever I want it to do. You can also do this when watching normal videos by Joe. You can also do this when watching normal videos and you can do it with phone calls that are not FaceTime calls, just normal phone calls. And this is the last part of your picture in picture. Okay, Joe wants to show you that it can do it through phone calls. So you can keep it up there and then it'll go right there and then bye Joe. All right, so the last part of this picture in picture and space saving feature is on Siri. Hey Siri. So as you can see, Siri no longer takes over our screen. She's just this little cute little button right there. Set a timer for three minutes. Okay, three minutes and counting. Boom, so it looks just like that. It's no longer taking over our whole screen. All right, so since we just did the timer, we're gonna just go ahead and check out this brand new cute clock feature. So I typed in clock already and we're gonna stop our timer and we're gonna set an alarm. So the alarm area looks different and there is now a sleep feature. So it's telling you that sleep is healthy and you're gonna set it up in your app button and you'll tell all your information. I don't wanna tell that right now boom help me get better sleep so i can set how many hours i want to sleep if i want to sleep seven hours and 30 minutes but i sleep eight hours so we're gonna go there and this is your new clock feature it's so cute i love it i love it and so you'll um 
set up your bedtime, set up your wake time, and just like that. Boom. Right, so in addition to all those cool things, you can also now pin, you see that? It will stay on top no matter who texts you. My group chat um, will stay on top. Boom, there it is, right? So then you can go in and, where is it? There you go. Go in and you can change your group name. So now you can do all these cool little cute emojis. I'm gonna set this as a hot dog. Yes. And our group name is gonna be dogs. Boom. And I'm gonna press done. Now, once you're in your group message, it has this cool feature where I can reply to a certain person. What's up? Right, so you see that? And then I'm gonna reply to this one and I'm gonna say, hey, I'll put ace, but whatever. So now your group chats will be a lot more organized, or at least I know mine will because I have 10 family members in mine, so it gets pretty he hectic. Alright, so enough with this, let's move on. The emojis or memojis have also been updated to go through more colors, more different hat styles. Let me show you guys my favorite. That is my favorite one. I don't this one right here. It's my favorite. <laughs> but you see there's so many different options now. There's graduation. Uh uh. Now we have mass. It also goes in to do, um, I know it does more facial hair, but it also is supposed to have different muscle types and things like that. I haven't gone through it, so I can't find it, but you guys, please go through it. It looks so much fun. All right, now let's move on. The last feature I wanna show you with your Memojis is something that you can also do in iOS 13, but I know a lot of people don't know about it. So you can take this sticker and you can drag it in. Well, you have to pin it to where someone spoke. So say I wanna pin it on top of that emoji. I can say I wanna take this one and pin it on top of that one. Boom. And it will reflect in whoever's messages that you're talking to as well. All right, so the last set of cool new features, I'm not gonna show you guys, but I'm gonna just explain it real quick. There is this new app that will come download it with the iOS 14 update. It's a translator app. And so you can speak into it and it will translate to a person that you're speaking to and then they can speak back into it and then it will translate back to English for you or whatever language that you speak. The next thing that it features right now at I know it's for seven different cars, I believe, being BMW being the only one that they have announced partnering with, but there will be seven other car brands and it will feature a car key, digital car key feature where you can tap your phone to your car handle and it will lock or unlock your car door. There is also a more in-depth weather feature so it will tell you minute by minute hour by hour um if it's gonna rain if there's severe weather coming or anything related to weather it's probably in there now so i hope this was a fun update this is my first mobile update ever so please don't chew me out in the comments i did this as best i can do and i had fun recording this over and over and over and over again to make it right for you guys but I love you. I'm out. Peace. Oh. All right. So I had to use my other phone to show you this feature because I don't have it set up on my XR. But the iOS 14 also comes with this feature where you can tap your phone on the back and it will take a screenshot. So I have mine set up to three taps. One, two, three or um, two taps, one, two, and it will put my phone on mute.
so you can set yours up how you want it to be you can do two two taps as a screenshot and three taps is something else but that is the only two options you have two taps and three taps all right have a great night bye